I have one intention, and that is to make sure that everyone throughout this world that I can reach has the best health possible. And there are many foods that we eat that we think are good for us, but although they aren't. Now I want to review something so important. There's two pesky types of foods out there that's directly tied into cardiovascular issues, placking that's affecting the arteries, that's blocking off blood supply, oxygen to specific areas throughout the body that potentially can lead to heart attack as well as stroke or even peripheral problems, conditions related into the arms or legs. And we already know that fried foods leads to lots of problems, increased saturated fat. It definitely can affect our arteries. There are carcinogenic conditions that can occur, but we're not going to go there in this video. And don't be surprised about our margarine and vegetable oils. Yes, these are potentially artery clogging ingredients. And there are definitely many health risks behind this. And it's our trans fats, it's those liquid oils that are turned into solids, like our margarines and shortenings. And the problem with this is that it takes our good cholesterol, our HDLs, our high density lipoproteins, and lowers them. And it makes our LDLs, the low density lipoproteins, the bad cholesterol, continue to rise, continue to increase throughout the arteries, throughout the intima, as it causes potential clogging within those arteries, blocking blood supply. And this will increase the risk of arterial plaque formation. And yes, people who eat butter are shied away from it because their doctors have told them, stay away from butter, the saturated fat. It will cause placking. Well, grass-fed butter is extremely healthy. It's okay to have saturated fat. It's natural. It's the whole state. It's not processed. And you want to be aware of the partially hydrogenated oils, including sunflower, peanut, corn, canola oils, because these oxidize rapidly when they're heated. And those oils are inflammatory. They're filled with omega-6s. And we get too many omega-6s. And omega-6s cause inflammation. And that's what leads to placking within our arteries. It's just not cholesterol. It's just not butters. It's not just saturated fat. It's oxidized bad cholesterol. This is what leads to more inflammation. And then we get a cascade of white blood cells that start to help those arteries. And although they're doing destruction to it. And it's always good to supplement with omega-3s because this has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. This improves the function of the endothelial cells that line the blood vessels, those arteries. And those omega-3s will offset those omega-6s. And it will help reduce and reverse that atherosclerotic plaque formation. And the other unexpected food that many of us wouldn't believe are artificial sweeteners. And it's being used by the millions and millions worldwide because people are gaining weight. They don't want to take in more sugar. Yes, you may be diabetic, pre-diabetic, insulin resistant, but there are other natural ways that things that we can take in that are extremely healthier. And artificial sweeteners such as aspartame and saccharin can potentially lead to more clogging within your arteries. It's been associated with adverse effects on blood sugar and lipid metabolism. And in a recent study, the research reported that erythritol, a common type of artificial sweetener, is linked to increased risk of heart disease and stroke. And these were primarily related to those who had higher blood erythritol levels. And the side effects of these artificial sweeteners include digestive issues, increased blood sugar levels, a higher risk of cancers, increased blood pressure, and adverse effects on those with pre-existing mood disorders. And research has found that some sugar substitutes can alter the human microbiomes in a way that can change your blood sugar levels. And artificial sweeteners can affect the healthy bacteria in the gut microbiome into harmful microbes and potentially cause serious health issues. And those natural sugars that doesn't play a significant role on our glucose and insulin, nor our microbiome, our stevia, as well as monk fruit. And the purpose of this video is just to give everyone a wake-up call. To realize that the things that we thought were good for us, those artificial things, or those oils, or those trans fats, we need to stop. 
and become more aware and more in tune with what is healthy for us. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.